Hi everyone, trust you all are doing well. So we in this episode, what we're going to do is we're going to create our article model with its migration. But before I do that, I just wanted to show you that by default, Laravel already add Sanctum for us for the API authentication. All right, so let's go to App Models under User Model. You will see we've got already Laravel Sanctum installed. And as you can see, it used the API tokens right by default all right so let's open up your terminal so in your terminal what we're going to do is we're going to basically create our article model so php artisan uh, make in this case we just want to make a model and we want to call this one article model and we just add the dash m for the migration all right so as you can see it's created so let me just close this so if we go to our database migrations, you will see it is in there. All right, so what we want to do now is we want to add, we need a title, we need a slug, we need a body, and we need an author ID. All right, so let's quickly do that. So in the table, what we want to do is a string, and this is going to be for the title, and we don't want this field to be nullable, so we just put it like that. The next one, this one is for the slug, so we, this is going to be a string again and this one will be for the slug and the next one that we have is a text field and the text field is for the body of the article and the next one is a foreign id because basically a user can have many articles and an article belongs to a user relationship right so we let's do a foreign id and this one is going to be the author id Right, so you can obviously put this as user ID by default, right? But I'm not going to do that. And in this case, I don't want this field to be nullable, and this is just going to be constrained to the user stable like this. All right, all right. So that's basically our migrations all set up. So let's go to the next one under our database. Uh, under our models actually so on the models our article model right here let's quickly set this up now protected table now you can have a protected table right here and we're gonna you can just call this one articles like this so that's completely fine but what i want to do i want to create a constant and i'm just going to call it table and i'm going to set that to articles All right so you can use this one uh, just let me just show you you just you can use it just as is okay you don't need to add this right so if you don't want to now i'm just going to add this as self uh, table like that right so the next thing is we need to do a protected fillable for mass assignments or protected fillable all right in here what i'm going to do i'm just going to add the title the one that we just created in our migrations file so the title the next one is for the slug and the other one is the body okay so after the body and then we just need to add the author id right here All right so that's basically our articles table the next thing that i want to do this is totally optional you don't have to do what i'm going to do now um, what i want to do is i want to add basically the fields right here this in the id field all right so i'm just going to do a public function and this is going to be the id and i want this field to be a string okay so what i'm do is i'm just going to return a string and i'm just going to say this id like this okay all right and i'm going to do that for all these other fields okay so let me just do that Right, so you can add them if you want to. If you don't want to, you don't have to. Right, so I'm just doing the, this is optional right here. And obviously the constant there is optional. Right, this is just my workflow. If you don't want to do that, you don't have to. Right, so let's move on to the next one. Right, so what we want to do now is remember the user has many articles and an article basically belongs to a user right so we're going to set up that relationship right there but i want i want to do instead of actually setting it up in there what i want to do is i will actually create a trait to do that so that's what we're going to do in the next episode so see you guys there like the video and see you there adios